Pharmacology SAQ10 compare and contrast the cardiovascular effects of noradrenaline, dobutamine, and milrinone. 10 marks. For alpha-1 adrenoceptor agonism, noradrenaline is much more than dobutamine, dobutamine much less than noradrenaline. Alpha-1 adrenoceptor agonism is activated when dobutamine dose exceeds 5 mcg per kg per minute due to its levoisomer. Murinone does not act at the alpha-1 adrenal receptor. For beta-1 adrenoceptor agonism, noradrenaline much less than dobutamine. For dobutamine, much more than noradrenaline and murinone does not act at the beta-1 adrenoceptor. For beta-2 adrenoceptor agonism, noradrenaline much less than dobutamine. For dobutamine, more than noradrenaline, beta agonism begins at less than 5 mcg per kg per minute for dobutamine. Murinone does not act at the beta-2 adrenoceptor. Phosphodiesterase inhibition does not occur with noradrenaline or dobutamine. Murinone is a PDE3 inhibitor. This decreases hydrolysis of CAMP and there is increased CAMP, increased calcium influx, positive inotropy and vasodilation or leucotropy. All these three drugs do not act at the dopamine receptor. Noradrenaline is a positive inotrope and vasopressor. Dobutamine is an inodilator. Murinone is also an inodilator. Effects on heart rate. Increase in heart rate is much less than dobutamine or murinone for noradrenaline. Dobutamine causes much more increase in heart rate compared to noradrenaline via its beta-1 effects. Tachycardia and arrhythmias can occur when dobutamine dose exceed 10 mcg per kg per minute. Murinone also causes tachycardia. Increase in inotropy is much less for noradrenaline compared to dobutamine and murinone. Dobutamine causes much more increase in inotropy compared to noradrenaline by its beta-1 agonism effects. Murinone also causes increase in inotropy. Cardiac output increase for noradrenaline is much less compared to dobutamine and murinone. Venoconstriction due to noradrenaline increases venous return and cardiac output. Dobutamine causes much more increase in cardiac output compared to noradrenaline by its increase in heart rate and contractility. Murinone also causes increase in cardiac output. Effects on coronary blood flow. Noradrenaline increases coronary blood flow due to increase in diastolic blood pressure and reflex bradycardia, which increases diastolic time. Dobutamine increases coronary blood flow via coronary vasodilation. Murinone also increases coronary blood flow via coronary vasodilation and reduced left ventricular diastolic blood pressure. Noradrenaline and dobutamine increases cardiac oxygen consumption. Murinone does not affect cardiac oxygen consumption. Effects on systemic vascular resistance. Noradrenaline increases SVR. There is vasoconstriction in all vascular beds. Dobutamine decreases SVR due to its vasodilatory effects via beta-2 agonism. However, vasoconstriction increases at higher dosage. Murinone decreases SVR more than that produced by dobutamine. Effect on blood pressure. Noradrenaline increases blood pressure via increased SVR, which increases systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, MAP, with accompanying reflex bradycardia. Effects on blood pressure by dobutamine and murinone is variable and depends on how responsive the heart is to inotropy. If the heart responds strongly with increased stroke volume and heart rate, it is possible for inodilators to increase blood pressure. However, if the heart is already working as hard as it can, the vasodilator effect may be dominant, causing a drop in blood pressure. Effect on pulmonary vascular resistance. Noradrenaline increases PVR, while dobutamine and murinone decreases PVR. Additional information. Mechanism of action of positive inotropes are included here for completion. All beta-adrenal receptors work via GS pathway. Alpha-1 adrenoceptors work via GQ pathway. 
alpha-2 adrenal receptor works via GI pathway, dopamine 1 receptor works via GS pathway and D2 receptor work via GI pathway. This table shows inotropic and vasopressor drug names, clinical indications for therapeutic use, standard doses, receptor binding, and major clinical side effects. This table classifies various CVS drugs according to whether they have inodilator actions, inopressor actions, or whether they are pure vasopressors.